The fall of the Roman Empire is a story of a once mighty civilization that stretched across three continents, ruled for centuries, and then crumbled. It's a complex narrative of decline, crisis, and transformation, shaped by a multitude of factors. This epic tale takes us through centuries of history, from the height of Roman power to the fragmented remains that marked the end of an era, the glorious rise of Rome. Our story begins in the 8th century BC with the legendary founding of Rome by Romulus and Remus. Over time, Rome expanded, conquering lands and peoples throughout the Mediterranean. The Roman Republic was born, a system of governance that allowed citizens to participate in decision-making through elected officials. The rise of Caesar and the Roman Empire. As Rome's power grew, so did its internal struggles. Julius Caesar emerged as a key figure in the transition from the Republic to the Empire. After a series of civil wars and political manoeuvring, Julius Caesar declared himself dictator for life. His assassination in 44 BC set the stage for a power struggle that would ultimately result in the emergence of the Roman Empire. The Pax Romana, a time of peace. Under the early emperors, the Roman Empire reached its zenith. Augustus, the first emperor, initiated the Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and stability. During this time, Rome's influence extended from the British Isles to the deserts of the Middle East. It was an era of great prosperity and cultural achievement, with architectural marvels like the Colosseum and impressive feats of engineering such as the construction of aqueducts. Challenges and crises. However, even during the Pax Romana, the empire faced significant challenges. The Roman Empire was vast and diverse, and its governing structure was often strained. The legions, which had been the cornerstone of Roman military power, faced difficulties in recruitment and maintaining discipline. Economic pressures, currency devaluation, and political corruption also took their toll. The crisis of the third century. The third century CB brought a series of crises that weakened the empire. Invasions by barbarian tribes, economic instability, and a string of short-lived emperors led to a period of chaos. The Roman Empire was nearly split in two, with the Gallic Empire in the west and the Palmyrene Empire in the east. Diocletian and the Tetrarchy. The crisis of the third century eventually led to the rise of Diocletian, who sought to stabilize the empire. He introduced the Tetrarchy, a system where the empire was ruled by two Augusti and two Caesars, each with specific responsibilities. Diocletian also initiated widespread reforms and attempted to restore economic stability. Constantine the Great and the Shift to the East. Constantine the Great became a pivotal figure in the history of the Roman Empire. He embraced Christianity and legalized it with the Edict of Milan in 313 CNC. Constantine also established a new eastern capital, Constantinople Tande Istanbul, recognizing the importance of the eastern provinces. The division of the empire. After Constantine's death, the empire was divided among his sons. The Western Roman Empire, with its capital in Rome, and the Eastern Roman Empire, with its capital in Constantinople, developed distinct identities, while the Eastern Empire, later known as the Byzantine Empire, thrived for many more centuries. The Western Empire faced severe challenges. The sack of Rome. In 410 C, Rome was famously sacked by the Visigoths under Alaric, an event that shocked the ancient world. Rome, the Eternal City, had fallen to invaders for the first time in nearly 800 years. The decline of Rome seemed inevitable. The last Roman Emperor of the West In 476 C, the Western Roman Empire reached its final chapter. The last Roman Emperor, Romulus Augustus, was deposed by the Germanic chieftain Odorca, who proclaimed himself ruler of Italy. This event is often considered the symbolic end of the Western Roman Empire. The Legacy of Rome Despite the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the legacy of Rome lived on. The Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantine Empire, continued for nearly a thousand more years. 
the Romans' contributions to art, architecture, law and governance influenced future generations and laid the foundations for Western civilization. Factors in the fall of the Western Roman Empire The fall of the Western Roman Empire was not a sudden event, but a culmination of long-standing issues. Key factors include 1. Economic decline the Roman economy faced challenges, including high taxation, rampant inflation, and the devaluation of currency. 2. Military problems. The Roman legions, once a formidable force, struggled with recruitment, discipline, and the constant threat of invasions. 3. Political instability. The empire experienced frequent changes in leadership, often through assassinations or military coups. 4 social and cultural shifts. The decline of traditional Roman values and the spread of Christianity reshaped the cultural landscape. 5. Barbarian invasions. Barbarian tribes, such as the Visigoths, Vandals and Huns, repeatedly raided and invaded Roman territory. 6. Administrative challenges. The vastness of the empire made effective governance difficult and corruption was widespread the fall of the Western Roman Empire. By the end of the 5th century seas, the Western Roman Empire had been reduced to a mere shadow of its former self. The rise of Germanic kingdoms, the disintegration of Roman authority, and the erosion of Roman culture led to its inevitable fall. In 476 C, the last Roman emperor, Romulus Augustus was deposed and the Western Roman Empire officially ceased to exist. The fall of the Western Roman Empire was a momentous turning point in history, marking the end of antiquity and the beginning of the medieval period in Europe. It was a complex and multifaceted process, shaped by centuries of historical developments and challenges. Despite its collapse, the influence of Rome endured and the legacy of the Roman Empire continues to be felt in modern Western civilization.